hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl lazy please subscribe share and watch my previous videos if you're just tuning in for the first time thank you all so much so here is the look we're gonna be doing today and the look by my right was gotten from me instagram i do hope that you enjoyed this look if this video helps you in any way please don't fail to share and subscribe and don't be shy to thumbs me up i really love it when you guys do that so the first thing i'm going I am going to do is to fold the edges of my gilly and then I'm going to make about five pleats before placing this gilly on my head. You have to make sure that your pleats are nice so that the gilly comes out really beautiful. So the rule for this particular gilly is 80-20. One side of the gilly has to really be longer than the other side of the gilly. So all I'm doing right now is taking my 20 parts of the gilly. I'm just twisting it to the, my, the other side of my face so that I can pin it down. You have to pin your gilly down so that you're sure that your gilly is secured and it doesn't unravel. So I'm taking the 80 parts of my gilly now. I'm going to make some pleats before placing this gilly on my head guys if you've not watched my other videos on how to make pleats or if you've not watched any of my gilly videos at all please do that if you want to see any trending gilly at all check out my channel you're gonna love them and you're really gonna enjoy them so all i'm doing now is trying to make nice pleats on my head So if your earring is getting in the way, you can just remove it the way I just did mine. So after making about 4 pleats, I'm going to start making my fan. The fan is what gives you that slick look, that, that slick style. So you have to start making your fan, you have to make sure that your gilly is standing. So while doing this, you have to make use of your both hands. One hand has to be picking the pleats while the other hand has to hold your gilly so that everything does not fall. So I'm just going to hold the end of my gilly and try making pleats and try making fans with the part that is left so while doing this you just have to keep pinning and pinning and pinning until you get your required result until you're comfortable with what you're seeing so I'm just gonna keep pinning and pinning until I'm good and if I want more fans, I can just make some pleats. I'll just make smaller pleats and keep pinning until my gilly stands the way that I want it to. So I'm just going to take the remaining part of my gilly towards the back of the twisted part of my gilly and pin it. Thank you all so much. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't fail to thumbs me up. Don't be shy to subscribe and share my video. I really love it when you guys do that and I hope to see you all in the comment section. I hope to see you all in my next video too. I love you all so much. Bye bye.